So we're here at the University of Connecticut, main campus and stores, and we have another example of a low impact development practice that's been installed here. So here's a great example of pervious asphalt. So if you look back behind me here, you can see the main travel way back there is traditional asphalt, which as we know, when water falls on that, it runs off and it's typically piped through the catch basins and stormwater system out to the nearest stream. So we have a transition here from the traditional asphalt into the pervious asphalt. So the pervious asphalt is a variation on the mix. The fines are left out of the mix of the asphalt. Uh, so there's just a coarse aggregate and some sort of binder in there. So what you're left with is a product that allows water to pass through it when rain falls on it. So the base preparation is critical to this type of product. So we have a coarse aggregate base about 12 to 18 inches thick that's underneath this top layer of pervious asphalt. So that allows that water to sink down very quickly and get into the shallow groundwater. So if there's a very heavy rainfall event and the water does not sink into the through the surface of the asphalt, it will run off to the end here into the stream. So one very important consideration with any type of pervious pavement is the, the surface treatment in the wintertime. So traditionally, ro asphalt roads are sanded or sanded and salted, and that's not a big problem. The sand gets picked up in the springtime and, and gets used in another way. However, with a pervious surface, you want to avoid putting the sand on there because it can clog the pores up. So typical surface treatment of a pervious lot might be a light salting in the winter uh, and, and no sand at all to avoid those issues with clogging.